we're back. This is the Love Cape Band Report and the June edition. And wow, what a difference from 10 weeks ago um, when we last did this and have traditionally done this, of course, uh, in the studio at 1623. I'm Ken Real, CEO of the Cape Band Chamber of Commerce. And with me today is Tony. You want to introduce yourself? Tony Sapienza, uh, president, a board president of the Cape Ann Chamber and one of the co-owners of the Blue Shutters Beat Side Inn. Yeah. What a year, Tony. What a year it's been so far. And uh, how could anyone possibly manage, imagine the change that we've seen literally yeah. uh, for, for you know us in, in Cape Ann around the Commonwealth? In probably the last 10 weeks is when we ended up closing our office. It was uh, early March. And, uh, and uh, my team, the chamber team, has been furloughed uh, a couple of weeks later after that. And uh, just trying to, we're really focused on, on trying to help our members and the community. That is our number one priority. And that, that's really our mission right now, is, is how do we uh, get the business community through this as intact as possible. And I'll tell you, this is a lot of challenge and uh, and also a lot of inspiration, the way that, that people are working together in a way that, you know, I don't think any of us have, have really seen before. And a big, a big part of it is our tourism industry is, has really taken it on the chin. You know, and I know, Tony, you're front and center on that as owner of the Blue Shutters and, and chair of our tourism council. You want to comment a little bit on what's going on there? Yeah, I'd love to, Ken. And I just want to second uh, a couple of your comments. N none of us could ever have imagined what we've been through for the past two months here, two plus months. Um, but as you noted, you know, Cape Ann, the community has really stepped up. And, you know, we've been through tough times before. Uh, those who have been around for a while know that. But nothing quite like this. But this community has really... Uh, you know, stepped up and done a fantastic job. Uh, and kudos to the chamber team, Ken and the chamber team for what they've done in, to, in terms of bringing people together and, and allowing us to share ideas and updates. Um, the city, the other communities in Cape Ann have been fantastic in that regard. Um, but the chamber really, I think, uh, if you look back, has led the way in kind of opening some channels for people to understand just what was happening early on and more recently, you know, what's going to help us to, you know, return and recover. So, and that's a lot of what the tourism community uh, and the Blue Shutters is a good example is focusing on right now. Um, you know, in the past, just past several days, we've gotten some updates from the state and it passed down um, for us by the city of Gloucester. Um, and we're all very anxious to reopen. Um, and we know uh, those who love Cape Ann, who visit here, who live here. But for us, the people who visit are super anxious to, um, to get back. So we are doing all the preparations we can. Um, and with the help of uh, uh, you know, our colleagues in the tourism industry, you know, a lot of sharing, as I said, sharing ideas. And we're just ready to go. Um, so um, and that's, that's about it right now. You know, we do have a we'll note one thing. Um, every year, uh, the chamber helps to organize a tourism mixer and it typically happens in May it didn't happen this May for reasons why a lot of stuff didn't happen but we're going to do one on June 17th so if uh, anybody out there who is uh, part of the tourism community is interested please let us know we'll be seeing some more information in that tourism mix so we're going to do it in the afternoon maybe have an adult beverage or two and uh, and again share more ideas share some updates it, that will be a uh, week into phase two. So in phase two um, of the state's um, reopening, uh, accommodations, restaurants to a certain extent can reopen and some other things as well, obviously, but you know, we're gonna use that June 17th mixer as an opportunity to provide some updates um, and share some ideas amongst the tourism community. Thanks, Tony. And um, and thanks for all that, that you've done and are doing. Well, we've, we've uh... You know, never worked. Uh, I've never worked so closely together before with a, a board president, and it's just been a pleasure in uh, working for you. As literally, we we adapt to change um, every single day with uh, new news that comes out, and and how do we best handle it? Um, we are in phase two, and uh, in addition to the restaurants and the accommodations, also our retailers are able to start opening up um, under again um, pretty heavy restrictions. 
Uh, so we're, we're uh, in support of all of those businesses. Uh, um, I co-chair a business subcommittee on a Gloucester reopening task force with Sal Stefano, and working very closely with Elizabeth Carey, who chairs the a subcommittee for tourism. Uh, that includes the um, accommodations and, and, of course, the other tourism organizations. And, and again, the collaboration between the city, the chamber, Discover Gloucester, the other communities is, has never been greater. And it really is a pleasure to work with everybody as we all join together to, to uh, figure out how best we get through this. And so starting Monday, hopefully, uh, the governor will make the, it formal tomorrow on Saturday. Um, we'll know for sure whether phase two starts. And um, assuming it does, a lot of businesses are planning to reopen and, and try to recover as much of the summer season as possible. You know, there's no doubt it, it's going to be a down year. Um, for a lot of businesses, it'll be way down. And um, we're going to help them out as possible to get through this year and, and uh, make it into next year. Next year is going to be tough, too. And so, uh, so we just got to all hang in there together and uh, get our businesses through this. A um, yeah. couple things for us. We, we did our um, one of our big... Uh, uh, fundraiser is called our Irish sweepstakes. We actually did that virtually. That was a lot of fun. I'm Tony O. Sapienza. <laughs> we did that at, at Matt Anzavino's place up at the Rock Point Inn and Suites, um, being socially distant. Um, that was fun. And uh, again, a, an example of adjusting, we have uh, moved our big education fundraiser. It's a, a, a priority for us is working with our, our local young people and uh, all of the schools. And so that fundraiser we do um, annually in the spring at, at Bass Rocks Golf. And uh, this year uh, we pushed it to the end of July. So uh, that's coming up on July 27th. We're about to start to promote that again. If, if you'd like to join in a, in a fantastic event and a great way to give back to our young people, especially you look at all the graduates, um, eighth grade high school graduates that really are being cheated out of an incredible celebration, um, this is one way to give back to that as uh, part of the funds for this goes to scholarships. So July 27th, um, go to capeandchamber.com or, or get in touch with us and, and um, happy to register for you uh, you for that event. And the summer events are, are really up in the air right now. You know, um, we actually, there, there is uh, some talk about doing something with our block parties this year. As early as the middle of July, they, they will not be your standard block party. We're not going to have entertainment. We're not going to have musicians, but we want to, we want to try to get as much business into our, um, our main street businesses as possible, in particular, the restaurants and the retailers. So we're talking about closing main street and trying to do some kind of, of event, uh, the middle of July. And then uh, the city has um, canceled events right through the middle of August. So events in, in August uh, up until then are, are um, basically not going to happen. And then after then, it's uh, TBD. Uh, a main one, of course, is Schooner Festival, which is Labor Day weekend. And uh, of course, the, the Chamber actually created that event. And now it, it's run um, very, very well by, by uh, Maritime Gloucester. And uh, we're a supporting partner in that. And, and we certainly would like to have that event happen um, as possible. It's just iconic for the region. So events, a, a lot of our work uh, revolves around events and, and uh, they've been difficult uh, to plan and replan, but we're getting through those. And then it's, uh, again, our prior primary focus is on COVID and uh, how do we get our businesses through this and, and um, being part of these community task forces. And, um, and also we have been doing a lot of communications with our three times a week newsletter, our dedicated COVID page, um, doing uh, interviews like this uh, with 1623 and, and others around the community. And uh, it's just been a, a pleasure to, to, uh, to try to help, again, our business community through this. Yeah, yeah. You know, Ken, just one point. You mentioned what's happening with events. And it's, 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 it's regrettable that we're not going to be able to do the events we typically do. But I will tell you, from what I've heard from, you know, people who true visit Cape Ann, um, they're still very, very interested in coming, you know, they know that it's not going to be the same, but they want to come to the beaches. They want to sort of enjoy the Essex river, you know, kind of enjoy our downtowns, uh, our restaurants as they begin to open, you know, we weren't sure what was going to be happening because people, obviously people everywhere are impacted by this and everybody realizes everything's, you know, a little different, but 
they're still interested in coming back. People who usually come back to Cape Ann are coming back to Cape Ann. And what's interesting is others who would typically, you know, do bigger vacations in other parts of the country or, you know, overseas, we're hearing from people who we've never heard from before who are making a shorter trip to Cape Ann to enjoy all that there is here. So that's, that's encouraging. Um, and you know what, next year, the events will be back. And the people who come this year and experience you know, Cape Ann 2020, where they're certain they're going to be back in years to come once they understand just how special this place is. Yeah, certainly agree, Tony. And and we are counting on a visitor season. It's going to be very different than years past. But as an example, our publications are are in print. Um, we're starting to receive them now. And I know the same is true for uh, Discover Gloucester and even north of Boston. Um, printed publications uh, will be available shortly. And of course, the websites, everything online is up and running now. So we are trying to promote the region to our visitors, and especially as we open up and get into the latter phases of the plan here. Yeah. And, so, and I just want to say one thing. You mentioned it earlier that, and I had said this, the Chamber team has done a phenomenal job working from home, um, you know, keeping us informed right now through the reopening. But um, in a couple of months, we'll have some exciting news. Um, we won't be working from home. Tell us a little bit about uh, our new <laughs> Cape Ann Chamber of Commerce home. Thank you for the lead in, Tony. Uh, it is exciting. We, we've been working on this well before you know, the pandemic uh, had, was in anybody's radar. But um, since last year, uh, we had uh, uh, found a, an incredible new location for the Chamber of Commerce. We've been at our current location at 33 Commercial Street for 33 years. And it's been a, a good relationship with our landlord, Mac Bell. And, and uh, we basically just outgrew that location. Um, and the new location is a much better position downtown. And, and that is on Harbor Loop. It's 24 Harbor Loop in what used to be Captain Bill and Son's Whale Watch. Um, very ex excellent parking, very good visibility. It's a larger space. So we'll have a larger and a modern visitor center and a, and a beautiful new collaboration center um, that will be open to all of our members and community groups to use as a resource. So yeah. we're, we're really excited about that. And, um, you know, the work is delayed. It, it is ongoing, um, but we're, we're uh, going to probably be in there, I, I would expect, in July. And I was really hoping to, to be in there by this point, frankly. But um, it's going to be beautiful, and uh, we're really excited about it. Yeah, I agree. It, you know, we, visit, we visited just the other day just to take a look. And, you know, if you're out and about, if you're near Harbor Loop, just, just take a peek. Um, you'll be impressed. Um, and when we open, we, we really welcome everybody. As, as Ken said, this is, you know, the collaboration center or the conference room is, is really something that we want to invite the entire community to enjoy. And the visitor center is going to be spectacular as well as part of you know, the new offices. So it's going to be great. It's going to be something that all Cape Ann can benefit from. And um, again, take a look when you're in the neighborhood and you can just envision what this is going to be when we open. And the timing, timing's not bad. I mean, the fact that it's taken a little bit longer to get to this point, but right now, um, you know, I think that the Chamber team has done a tremendous job of being very productive and very supportive of the community working from home. And so when this comes online in July, it's going to be just perfect timing as we begin to see visitors and more activity in our communities. Thank you, Tony. Well said. And again, it's been a pleasure um, working with you. Who could have imagined that uh, we'd be doing all of this, especially from <laughs> home? Um, so why don't we stop there? Um, we've, we've, uh, we've talked about a lot. We've covered a, a lot of ground here, so much change. And uh, let's, let's leave it till next month. And it, it's hard to imagine that it could possibly change as much in the next four weeks but um let's certainly get together and we'll do a july report and take it from there and, and until then For that. um be safe and thank you thank you have a good